So here is HYMC, Highcroft Mining Holding Corp. This finishes at $1.37 today. That is down 9.87%. And it's gone. Please, like the video, please subscribe, and catch me every weekday after market close on the Smarter Gambling Show. So here is MULN, Mullen Automotive. It finishes at $1.75 today. That is up 9.38%. So we've been discussing this stock for almost three weeks now, every single day. And I wasn't going to talk about this stock today because it didn't have that much price action. But towards power hour, this really mooned. So it does finish up over 9%. Did have some major price action. So we will discuss it once again today. So no specific news to justify this price action today. It just seems like social media sentiment still really strong. And the overall market did do really well today. So Ape's still in here. Ape's still pushing the stock up. A lot of Apes like this stock. We like the stock. All right, let's go ahead and analyze here. So first of all, there's a gap down at 1190. So that's a bullish indicator that is telling us that the stock should eventually come back up to 1190 to fill that gap. It may take a while. That's going to be a long-term play, but eventually it should. And then we do have a gap down at around 465. So that's another bullish indicator that is telling us that the stock should eventually come back up to 465 to fill this gap. Again, may take a little while, but eventually it should. And then this does appear to be a huge cup and handle in the making. Bottom of the cup being the low of 52 cents. And there can be multiple possible tops. It could be 190. And if it is 190, that would be a bearish indicator because the cup would have already topped out. But it can also be above 190. And if it is above 190, then that'd be a bullish indicator. It can also be 380, 585, 740, 815, $9, 1085. 1165 or even the high of 1590 although i do think the most realistic tops would be 190 or 380 so it appears like in the long term that's a bullish indicator but in the short term it may be a bearish indicator so a cup and handle that could be bullish or bearish depending on where the top is and in the aftermarket here this is going up to 182 so that would be a bullish indicator if this holds that would suggest that this will keep running to the upside tomorrow and this does appear to be a symmetrical triangle forming Right now, this looks like it's consolidating between 2.30 and 1.10. So it appears like there's still more consolidation to go. But once that finishes consolidating, it should break out to the upside. So another bullish indicator there. And then we do have a double gap up. First gap up at 62 cents. So that'd be a bearish indicator. That is telling us that the stock may come back down to 62 cents to fill this gap. Looks pretty unlikely at this point, but still possible. So be aware of that, guys. And then we do have another gap up at 1.50. So another bearish indicator there that is telling us that the stock may pull back down to 150 to fill this gap. And I do think that one is a lot more realistic. It actually almost hit that today. And if you guys want to follow along, the link to the chart is in the description down below. So right now, this is trading between the sideways channel, the rectangle of 189 and 170. So if this goes to the upside, next levels of resistance would be 190, 223, 257, 272, 291, 322, 341, 380, 395, and then 409. There is resistance above 409, but we're not going to discuss that right now. And if this goes to the downside, next levels of support would be 170, 136, 113, 98 cents, 75 cents, 60 cents, and then the low of 52 cents. 52 is the all-time low, so no support below that. So right now at this current price, 175. The channels to the upside and the downside are very wide. So expect significant price action either way this goes. However, if slash when this breaks 257 to the upside, the channels start to narrow. So expect a significant decrease in price action if slash when this breaks 257. And then to the downside, if slash when this breaks 136, the channel starts to narrow. So expect a significant decrease in price action if slash when this breaks 136. RSI is currently at 53. So pretty average there. A little bit above average. So according to the RSI, this current price of 175 is around fair market value. Maybe it should be a little bit lower. And this did 142 million in volume today. Very significant volume, although it has been pulling back. But way above average, so this pump today was confirmed by the volume. Okay, guys, just my opinion, not financial advice. And this is going to be more or less the same from what I said yesterday. So it appears like long term, this is a really good stock. A lot of strong bullish indicators, double gap down, huge cup and handle. But short term, I am pretty concerned with these gap ups especially the one at 150. And this does appear like it is losing momentum. The mentions on stock twits have been going down. So losing social media sentiment 
and just the overall volume has been decreasing the past couple of days. So therefore, if you want to go long, not financial advice, 175 appears to be a pretty decent entry. It's not terrible. It's not great either. It's really average. You can't go too wrong buying in here at 175 if you're in it for the long term. A lot of bullish indicators, a lot of upside potential long term. This should come back up to 1190 at some point to fill that gap. So that's over a 1000% upside. A lot of growth here. That being said, due to the gap ups and this losing momentum, I do think this will pull back down to at least 150, possibly even lower. So I have no problems with you guys going long at 175, but I do think if you're a little patient, you should be able to get this back at 150 and possibly even lower. So I can't support going long at 175, although personally, I'd probably wait until 150. And if it pulls back below 150, then you can just average down at the supports that I mentioned before. Now, if you want to go short, not financial advice, that's a decent play. Again, not terrible, but not the greatest, because again, I do think this will pull back down to 150. 50 to fill the gap and from this current price of 175 that would be about a 15 percent downside so there's decent money to be made here and i don't think it's too risky because it does appear like the squeezing stuff is over the volatility should go down so i would say going short here would be a medium risk medium reward play nothing too special about the short play here you should be able to make 15 percent, but there is still risk involved there are way better short plays out there in the market but this one's not terrible so i can't support going short at 175 and higher and I would say just cover at 150 once this fills the gap. But personally, I probably wouldn't even bother because apes still like this stock. You never know. If for whatever reason this does keep mooning to the upside, you can't end up losing money here. I don't think it's going to squeeze anymore or anything though. I think for the most part, the stock is going to start stabilizing pretty soon. So I can't support going short here, although I don't think it's the greatest play. So if you want to do that, guys, please do that at your own risk. So pretty straightforward here, guys. Long term looks like a good play. A lot of upside potential. This is a good stock to diamond hands. But short term, I do think this is due for a little bit of a pullback. And this does appear like it's losing momentum. So congratulations to everyone who made money in the stock today. And good luck to everyone currently in the stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is MULN, Mullen Automotive. So here is HYMC, Highcroft Mining Holding Corp. This finishes at $1.37 today. That is down 9.87%. And it's gone. So we've been discussing this stock the past few days. This initially squeezed for really no reason. Started pulling back. And then yesterday we got some major news that AMC bought a major stake in this company. Had some major price action again yesterday. I predicted it would probably pull back. And today it's down about 10%. So this was trending top 10 on stock switch today. So we will analyze it once again. But yeah, no company specific news to justify this price action today. Just seems like some healthy pullback. People taking profits and... Shorts coming in here. So let's go ahead and analyze. So first of all, there's a gap down at 680. So that would be a bullish indicator that is telling us that the stock should eventually come back up to 680 to fill this gap. May take a while, but eventually it should. And this does appear to be a huge cup and handle in the making. Bottom of the cup being 28 cents. And there can be multiple possible tops. It can be 270, which if it is 270, that would be a bearish indicator because the cup would have already topped out. But if it's above 270, that'd be a bullish indicator. So it can also be $3, 335, 395, 420, nice, 645, or even the high of 750. So that can be bullish or bearish depending on where the top is. Long term, it looks like a bullish indicator. In the short term, that may be bearish because like I said, this may have already topped out at 270. And then we do have a gap up at 40 cents. So that's a bearish indicator. That is suggesting that the stock should come back down to 40 cents to fill that gap. And if you guys want to follow along, the link to the chart is in the description down below. So right now this is trading between the sideways channel, the rectangle of 139 and 130. So if this goes to the upside, next levels of resistance would be 139, 150, 160, 171, 182, 197, 209, 219, 230, 245, 259, 269, 281, 298, and then 309. There is resistance above 309, but we're not going to discuss that right now. And if this goes to the downside, next levels of support would be 130, 113, 99 cents, 82 cents, 75 cents, 65 cents, 58 cents, 51 cents, 43 cents, 36 cents, and then 28 cents. 28 is the all-time low, so no support below that. So right now at this current price, 137. The channels of the upside and the downside are pretty decently sized, so expect a regular amount of price action either way this goes. However, if slash when this breaks 82 cents to the downside, the channel starts to narrow, so expect a significant decrease in price action if slash when this breaks 82 cents. 
RSI is currently at 63, a little above average there. So according to the RSI, this current price of 137 should be a little bit lower. And this did 86 million in volume today. Very significant volume, way above average. So the sell-off today was confirmed by the volume. And that is a major pullback in volume from yesterday. So it appears like the momentum is cooling off. All right, guys, just my opinion, not financial advice. And this is more or less the same from yesterday. So long term, this does appear to be a good stock to own. Again, we have bullish indicators in the gap down and cup and handle. But in the short term, I do believe this is going to pull back pretty significantly. This squeezed initially because this was a low float stock. And I do think there was some insider trading going on. Somebody had to know that AMC was going to buy a stake in this. And then it pumped on that ape news. Had a lot of volume, had a lot of momentum. And now the momentum is finally starting to cool off. And we have a pretty big gap at 40 cents. So therefore, if you want to go long, not financial advice. I would not do that and I would not recommend it just yet. Like I said, in the short term, I do think this will pull back pretty significantly down to 40 cents to fill the gap. I think if you were to buy in here at 137, that would be trying to catch a falling knife and you're probably going to get hurt pretty bad. So I don't like the entry of 137. If you're a bit patient here, this should keep pulling back and eventually it should come back down to 40 cents to fill the gap. And I think 40 cents would be an excellent entry. So I would support going along at 40 cents and lower. If it pulls back below 40 cents, then you can just average down at 36 and 28. Now, if you want to go short now, financial advice, this does appear to be a pretty excellent shorting opportunity to me. You already missed some pretty fat tendies. You missed the top. But even at this current price, 137, that would still be about a 70% downside here to 40 cents. So a lot of downside potential, a lot of money to be made here on the downside. And I really don't think it's that risky because it does appear like the squeeze is over. So this really shouldn't be too volatile anymore. So I would say going short here would be a low risk, high reward play. A lot of money to be made here. On the downside, momentum is cooling off and this should pull back pretty significantly in the short term. So I can't support going short at 137 and higher. And I would say cover at 40 cents and this should be a relatively easy 70% gain. So pretty straightforward here guys. Recently, the stock squeezed. Looks like it's pulling back now and still has a long way to go to the downside. So longer term, it does appear to be a good stock. But I do think this will pull back down to 40 cents in the short term. So I wouldn't go long here at this price. I'd wait to 40 cents. And this does appear to be an excellent shorting opportunity. So sorry to everyone who lost money in the stock today. And good luck to everyone currently in the stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is HYMC, Highcroft Mining Holding Corp. Thanks everyone for watching today. I appreciate you guys. Please like the video. Please subscribe and catch me every weekday after market close on the smarter gambling show you apes already know diamond hands to the moon i'm ty this is smarter gambling see you guys tomorrow peace out